the results you get in your life, it's, it's really based on the identity you choose for yourself. We do everything to match our identity. I'm gonna be an entrepreneur. I really gonna do everything to succeed this time for sure. I will go forward and it will make it happen. And then the person says, you know, I love security. You know, you know, I love to get my paycheck at the end of the month. It makes really clear that the identity of the person is actually not ma matching what they say that they want. The subconscious program holds our identity. Consciously, we might say, that's what I want. But subconsciously, that's not what you want. So when, when there is no congruency between conscious and subconscious, you don't get the result. So by understanding the identity, the real identity, you can understand why you're not getting the results. If you had to change your personality, imagine that, you had to change your personality, it's, it's, it, it would be like, yes, you had to, but you need to, you have to choose one person or one personality to exchange your personality for. But you would pick the one you really, really admire, the one you like, you would like to copy, you know, saying that you would like to be, which person would be and why? Arash, uh, the manager of Avicii. When Cristiano Ronaldo, I remember he was playing a game. 500,000 is not sharing on him and he still, in the, still makes a goal. Luis El Hay, she came from nothing, but she was able to change her whole world and life around. Jesus Christ, because he's someone who didn't do anything wrong, but died for everyone else. The first one that comes into my mind is actually Frida Kahlo, the Spanish uh, yes. painter that uh, was a revolutionary when it comes to art. His name is Strive Mazia. He's originally from Zimbabwe. He actually removed barriers to one industry where he wa that was heavily regulated for people of color to participate in, which is the ICT space to provide technology for people in rural areas and make access to technology easier for people that would normally don't have it. So for me, I admire his, uh, he, was very he was very persistent and he was resilient in making sure that he would push. I think the project took him uh, a decade for him to actually get a yes from the regulator. That um, spirit of not giving up until you get what you want for yourself and for the benefit of others is actually very inspirational. How do you define yourself? Faithful, good girl, always like committed to my word. Only good things, right? <laughs> it's a subjective kind of question, but everything that you answer has a meaning. Some of you already know this story, others don't know, but repetition is the mother of our skills, right? So let's 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 get the point. There was a guy that went to the circus and he was in the circus with his family. The animals was in the circus and suddenly he looked to the side and he saw this huge elephant in the circus. And when he looked at the elephant, around the elephant's leg, there was just a little rope holding the elephant on the floor got afraid and went to ask the, the circus guy you know you know man what, what's up what happened if this elephant go out from way he can come here and kill all of us and then the, the, the owner of the circus told him we put this rope around the elephant's foot when he was just a baby and when he was just a baby he tried to get out he tried to get out he couldn't and he starts to believe on that he, his identity, the word's identity, in this case, the elephant, was like, I'm an elephant that I cannot move. And now he was an adult elephant, and he was still believing that his old identity was his present identity. But he didn't know that he was lying to himself. That was not the truth. But he believed that was the truth. For us, human beings, the strongest force in the human personality is the need to stay consistency with what we believe we are, okay? So that's why it's really interesting that what we believe, we will do everything to match what we believe. So many times we don't even know if what we believe is something that we chose for ourselves or is some social influence or comes from our childhood. If we stop to think that the strongest force in the human personality is the need to stay consistent of who we believe we are, 
what happened is that we're going to do everything to match what we believe we are. But remember the elephant story. The elephant believe he cannot move, so he stay consistent with something that's not real. Who am I being exact, is actually who I want to be. I would like you to answer this question. When did you define yourself? What you could do and what you could not do, okay? When did you decide that you could do something and you also could not do something? How was it? Could you talk? Yeah? Does any, anyone here has any limitations in life? We all have something. Something that you would like to get better. The exercise now is like, I would like you to please, if you can, close your eyes. And I would like you to imagine an area of your life, okay, that you have a limitation that you would like to overcome. Which area of your life that is something that you'd like to say, okay, when did I accept this limitation? When did I accept? When, when did I accept that it was like this? And you might think like, okay, but you know, but this is who am I? This is who am I? But my question for you is like, when did you decide that this is, was you? Because, you know, many times in life we accept things that it's not who we really are. are. These are things that we might adapt. So we are accepted inside of our families or we are accepted by society or we accept to feel loved. But many times this is not who you really are. Just look at one area of your life that you would like to develop and grow and ask yourself, when did I accept this limitation? And see if you get the answer from yourself. Okay, open your eyes, please. So, does anybody got any, saw anything? You saw something inside of you that you might want to say, oh, this thing, I would like to evolve a little bit. I think we all have something there, okay? So, what we're gonna do now, Christina will share the rules, and you're gonna share with each other which parts you have a limitation and what can you do to change. Okay, that limitation. Which part you have a limitation, discuss that, and what can you do to change that limitation? To continue, I would like you please again to close your eyes. So now we're gonna create a link. Which personality would you like to change your personality for if it was possible? Yeah? If you had to. We know that your own personality is already amazing and outstanding, but this is just a way to take your brain there. So imagine that person, because everyone here is a different person. It was Cristiano Ronaldo, then uh, Frida Kahlo, and much more. So think about this personality and try to connect with, you know, what that person's identity that you would like to have would tell you in your present identity that you should have to do as an action to close the gap between your identity right now and this personality's identity that you admire. What that person would actually tell you in the present, okay, what you have to do to get closer to this personality that you admire, it's that. Which action needs to be done so you can achieve and get closer to that person that you admire, that personality, that identity. Try to listen to your soul, try to listen to your heart, because it doesn't come from your brain, it comes from your soul. What's the action? Next step that you can get closer and closer to that.
Okay, thank you. Open your eyes. What was the what was the answer that you got from your reflection? What do you need to do to close the gap between your identity now to this identity that you admire? What's the next step? It's not the whole. You don't need to go the whole way. You can go slow by slow, but you need to move forward. What what can be a next step that you can do in your behavior, in your way of thinking, so you can move towards that? Okay, that's that's the question. I was uh, thinking about the, the the Cristiano Ronaldo making goals when the people are not cheering and uh, he's hated, but uh, he uses like the negative force of others and makes some results of it. And uh, I was also thinking about that he doesn't really care about what other think. So discipline here in the mind that he can focus on the ball and uh, the goal. Getting in touch with people who knows how to uh, promote myself out there. Seeing patience, uh, being more humble, uh, practicing gratefulness and uh, surrendering as to not being so fixed on the process on how the process is going to go or how long time it will take just forgiving myself and letting go i think it's also about letting go i had a good conversation with arsen actually we talked just about letting go it's not only about the process of letting go of how the, the steps to reaching your dream but it's also letting go maybe of the traits of your personality some parts of your personality that you have and sometimes um, because of the mind always wanting us to keep ourselves safe, we keep uh, stuck to stuff that not maybe parts of our personality that, that are not helping anymore. You said something really, really powerful that, you know, sometimes we we don't understand actually that when we say we have to change up, we have to change who we are so we can become the person we want to be. We actually have to change our personality. We have to be another, become another person. That's really powerful. And it's really linked to our identity, you know. So, so yeah. the idea is for us to understand that every result that we get, it's actually based on what we are deciding in telling us. Okay, this is who I am. So, if you're happy, you know, if you're happy, if you okay, this is the world I am. Everything is great. Then you don't need to change anything. But if you are like, okay, oh shit, I would like to live with my art that is something that need to change you know in your personality not that you have a bad personality i'm saying the behavior that is not about bad and good i'm saying when i say you have to change the personality to match your new you the you you have now gives the results you get you have the you that exists on the quantum field over there cannot the identity that it has now. It has to change something the identity so you can become that. So it's not about bad and wrong, you know, that is not about bad and wrong. It's about, okay, the choices we are making internally gives the, the results we have now. It's created internal to show up external. So if you want a different external, that's, that's what I mean. You need to change, you know, actually internally who you are and your identity the purpose of this session is that's like to show you that, okay, if you're not getting what you want, that is something you are choosing, that is some kind of identity you are choosing for you that doesn't give you what you want. So to recognize, to have conscious about the power of identity, because your brain will do everything to match who you tell yourself you are. So you it's perfect. The results you have now, they're perfect because they're matching exactly what you're telling yourself. So if you're not happy, the identity is just one of the ways to give you what you really want. But as I said, if you're totally happy, my life is perfect. I'm happy in all the areas, financial, relationship, healthy. Then you don't have to change, you know what I mean? Then it, that's okay. Then you're already where you should be. I had chosen a, uh, the guy who who fought for 10 years to get um, the license, you know, to be able to give technology. His name is Strive Masiwa from Zimbabwe. And he did that for his country and most of the countries within the Sadak region. So for me, what I want to do as a person to get closer to 
to that character quality is maybe to learn to be more persistent. In, if I get one no or two no's and then normally I'll just walk away. So if I learn to be more persistent and also keep my message consistent because his message was consistent and he was persistent for 10 years and he That's finally true. reaped the rewards which changed the entire SADC as far as connectivity is concerned. So, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I admire what he did, what like in my own daily endeavors, what is it that I can do? And I'm realizing that actually when I'm being honest about myself, when I get first no, I try maybe second time, third time I walk away. And that for me is a sort of like a life a light bulb moment to sort of like improve in that area of my life. If that's actually the purpose of this here. You know, you like you you're looking to this person that you admire, the qualities that you know you you would like to module and you can see like okay, that person, that in the identity of that person, there was something called I I never give up. I persist until I get. That's the quality of that person that you just said. That's a, that's a quality of their identity. And now you're saying, oh shit, in my life, I give, I give, you know, I give up when I try two, three times. But now imagine if you get his identity, that that quality of his identity and imprint yourself. So now you don't you 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 do exactly like that. Your identity change. You're not the person that give up two after two times. Now you're the person that never give up always call until you get what you want. It's uh, very interesting, uh, the theme about the identity, because I believe that uh, when you study your identity, you can take actions based on what you really want. It's difficult also when you have worked with your identity and know what you want, then you can take the actions uh, that are congruent, as you said, Ricardo, congruent with your subconscious mind. Well, thanks a lot, my friend. And that's what Tiago said, it's really important when we understand. It needs to have a, a congruency between conscious mind. When I say conscious mind, it's the mind that says, you know, I want to succeed. I want to be, you know, a great painter. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be a movie director. That's conscious mind. Your conscious mind knows. But subconsciously, you're saying no to yourself many times. And that is an incongruency between conscious mind and subconscious mind. When you understand that those need to be congruent and speak the same language, that's the only way to get new results. You know, you can't get the results only conscious. I want, yes, I want, I want, I want, but I'm not getting. Why I'm not getting? There is no congruency between both brains let's say like that and that's something you know more deep but it's good that Thiago said that it's, this is really powerful today i took three things one is being persistent and having a consistent message and two is um to be aware that anything can happen in life any it regardless of how people view you or or, or what they say about you And then the third one is um, turning a, a negative into a positive, the Cristiano Ronaldo uh, 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 story. Sort of like putting lemon, I mean sugar in lemons to make lemonade and life continues. So that's for me is my takeaway. And I learned a lot from the breakaway sessions. There's quite a lot that I, you know, there's a lot in my head based on everybody that I've en I am engaged with tonight. What I will bring with me is that I'm not alone. Just keeping through it all and not stopping and thinking like being feeling sorry for yourself because we all know where focus goes, energy flows. So I just got to keep on thinking that even when the sun is not shining. For me, it's like an amazing technique to because um, I actually wanted um Arash like like as a mentor I was like oh I would like him as a mentor in this and with this meditation with you Ricardo I felt I could hear him you know what he would say to me because sometimes often we have the answer within ourselves, and I think when we can tune up to the qualities that we would like to possess possess then uh, then we will get the answer and I think it's a great thing to think about the person you want to be in a 
specific area and then yeah. you will find what you need to change. So I think it, for me, it was an amazing tool.